Hi, this is Simon from uh, Rockers DME. Uh, today I'm going to show you uh, the tools we've used in Modo uh, to create these lush looking uh, cave textures um, for, for one of our levels, uh, the mineshaft level. Um, what's, what's really cool about the, uh, the, this particular way of working is uh, providing you've got a nice clean set of UVs laid out on, on, on the model um, you can literally just go in and paint exactly where you want textures and images directly onto the model. So what we've got here, this is um, this is kind of like a, a mock-up of a section from the mineshaft level. And I'm going to show you how I created this tunnel um, utilising the tools that we use. So what I did is I, uh, I loaded up um, the mineshaft level objects I've got a big scene with all the elements in and I've just literally hidden away the stuff that I don't want to paint and uh, created myself a, a separate object for this this section of the tunnel so this is basically exported from XSI as an OBJ and then brought into Modo as we can see here we've got the same object um, and then uh, this has got like one, what I tend to do is I tend to work on one element at a time. Um, it's just easier f f f from a workflow point of view. And I'll apply a default material um, to the object and then just literally drop a, a map, depending on the size and resolution you want that texture. I'll just drop a map onto this, uh, th th this object that we've got. So once I've done that, um, as you can see, that map's here. And I've just created a test map 4K. Uh, it's just a JPEG file that's uh, applied to this object. So if we go into the paint section in Modo and into Airbrush Imaging, and I'll go down to my little library that I've got down here, um, and I can literally select what rock face texture I'm going to use. So I'm going to start off with uh, this one. I'm going to click anywhere in the screen. And then I get this really cool uh, sort of a translucent representation of the image that I'm going to project via painting through onto the 3D mesh. So I'm just going to scale that down, maybe zoom in a little so I can see. I'm going to paint, just bring that up a bit more. And you can just literally position this where you want to paint and then just start. Oh, I need to select my map and just start to paint through an area, which is really nice um, way of working. So I mean, I'm going to do this. I'm going to, for the purpose of this demo, I'm going to do this really quick, just to, just to show you. Um, and then obviously you can change, because the feathering works really well in this program. Um, I can change to different maps, and I can blend in into those. So uh, let's say, for instance, we wanted a bit of a sort of gravelly surface for the base of the tunnel. Um, I can select a gravel texture, alter the display, scale the size of the stones. And you don't necessarily need to paint within that area. You can actually paint outside of it and just literally coat the area you want. And then what we would probably do actually is um, have a base texture such as this and then have that base texture supported by... Um, real 3D uh, gravel and stones, because this, this does look like it's been tiled. So, you, you know, that's one thing we do have to kind of bear in mind when we're, 
and we're doing this, it's it's probably in some cases better to sort of break up the area so it doesn't look tiled. Or just in a paintbrush. But you get you know, you get the idea. Um, but yeah, we will start off and we'll use this as a base layer and we'll probably use um, replicators which will which I'll show off in another demo. Um which will basically bed in real, uh, you know, millions of real three-dimensional bricks and stones. But uh, that gives you a, a good idea of the, uh, the sort of tools that we, we've got as part of our workflow. Um, and basically, once this is all painted, we can just save that out as a map and uh, reuse it as part of our setup. So there you go. That's... Uh, painting in Modo. Um, this is Simon from Rockist DME. Uh, check out some of our other demos that will be coming up online shortly. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye for now.